so we are continuing our Venus series, and this is Venus conjunct or sextiled or trine with your moon, or if your Venus is in your fourth house. So I am Fox Red Sky. I am your astrologer, your soul coach, and the host for Astrology Obsessed. <laughs> So in this series, we're discussing how Venus conjoined with different planets will affect your money, your career, the wealth that you attract in your life, the abundance you attract in your life. So how does Venus with your moon or Venus in your fourth house, how does it affect or bring money into your chart, into your life in this current lifetime? So what is Venus? Venus is the planet of um, beauty, of luxury, of, of wealth. And so, and what is, uh, what is the moon? The moon is our emotional body. The moon, the aspects of the moon are to nurture, to give, to be soft, to be feminine, to be gentle. So this is a lot of femininity working together. And so how, how does it work together though, in reference to your money situation and how you what what career path you should take and and where your money is going to lie so moon and venus together or um moon or venus in your fourth house so in terms of career or dr drawing money people with the uh, moon and venus aspects this would be in housing owning some rental properties having real estate um, you know, this would be also maybe even doing some Airbnbs. This is the way you're going to bring wealth and actually, uh, you know, this is how you're going to get your money. Um, because if Venus is in the fourth house or if it's aspected to the moon really well, this signals to me that you need to be focusing or allocating your time and energy there. So another placement or another thing that a career that you'd be really good at too is anything having to do with food, cooking catering, restaurant owning, owning a restaurant, having a little um, food truck, you would make, a, you understand food, you understand the value of it. And these two aspects are so harmonious. It's like you would, I mean, you're just going to make, that's where your money's going to be. Um, so anything having to do with, you know, whether you're cooking the food or you're organizing and maintaining the restaurant or you're owning and operating a catering business, this would be a really good way for you to make money with Venus and moon, the moon aspects or with Venus in the fourth house. Um, another really thing is being able to collect things. Maybe you buy something at a low price and you're, or you're able to collect it and then long term into the future, now you can sell it on eBay or some or at an auction for like a ridiculous amount of money. So these people uh, with Venus and moon aspect and Venus and, um, the fourth house have really good ability to know the value of something that's old and really reap the benefits of it because they've collected it, they've taken care of it, and now that antique that was passed on from great great grandma, they can sell it for five to ten, you know, hundred times worth more than it's worth. Also, in regards to collecting, preserving too, being uh, being able to restore things like maybe you you find an old car. And, and you just restore it to like its, its age back in the 1950s or something, you know, or 19, whenever, you know, being able to take something from the past and just make it new and really make a living that way, being able to do that. Um, also, I notice a lot of people with these placements also are historians or document, you know, librarians. They are k keeping uh, the histories of us, of the humanity, of hum the race of humanity, and being able to sustain it. And that really is a comfort for them. It brings them a lot of comfort that they are keeping the past intact. So, so that's really interesting. So that goes a little bit into what kind of careers and forms of paths with Venus moon placements or Venus in the fourth house. But so let's go talk about the sextiles, the trines and the conjunction. So if you don't know what a sextile is, it's like, it's not necessarily uh, opposite of it, but it's also not um, uh, squared with it. It's just a little kind of off there. And so people with moon sextiled with Venus, 
these people make amazing mediators so they can earn their money through any kind of mediation where they are kind of the person that is like keeping everything cool and calm in business they make they're really good at negotiations especially if somebody uh negotiations are really tight and now you need somebody who's going to be you know that comforting soothing kind of person you want a Venus sextile person in your, in, to be able to do that. And if that's you, you know, they have a lot of adaptability. These people aren't going to fall under the pressure of like, oh no, these so many things have changed at work. No, they're like, you know, they're very adaptable. So they're really, so if you have this kind of position in your natal chart, you're really good at adapting to situations. You're really good at comforting and mediating. You are the liaison. In the group so now if you have a trine and I've always this is a triangle and you know if you're the stars uh, the planets make a triangle in your chart then you are super lucky this is a special thing that you know and depending on how you know um, perfect that triangle is will also determine the ability or luck that you just naturally get to inherit and so people with Venus and moon trined you will make your money by being honest and ethical and by expressing your kindness to a situation that is because you're peace loving because you are able to really um, just be grounded in your emotions and just want the a place of, of empathy you come from a place of empathy that is how you will draw abundance and wealth into your life now these are these are also special artists that are really good at certain instruments especially string instruments and so um i know that we talked about um in previous episodes which you can there are some links about venus and sun being very good for entertainment but i think with venus and moon trine these are people who feel the music they are it comes alive through their soul and so not so much it's not so showy where it's like i got to be the center of attention look at me look at me these are people that maybe are a little bit more low-key but the talent is there the magic is there so yeah so the next one would be venus and moon conjunct and that is like whether it's like right on top to each other or they're like really close to one another it's very it's right and it's in the same house they're all kind of like in a little cluster there so for people with this placement, you are going to make your money. You feel good about making money whenever you're providing for a family and when you can use and allocate your resources to nurture. So if you ever come into a lot of money, you're definitely going to be putting it into places where you can share the wealth. And that's where you get a lot of satisfaction too, is where you're, you know, you might not necessarily want to buy a lot of things to be all glitz and glam but you definitely want to put your efforts into more of like um a nurturing humanitarian and more of a uh where you just you're like a like a little uh an angel investor so that is um yeah so that is venus and your moon conjoined or sextile or it's also venus in the fourth house so if you have any questions about your chart specifically you don't know what it is or you want to understand it a little bit more i'll be more than happy um i have links provided where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading with me or some coaching which i love to do and uh, yeah so i want to thank you so much for listening to me <laughs> and if uh if you i just be sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that jazz and i'm sending you mass love from from me to you wherever you are in the world so thank you